and thanks for tuning in for another fabulous Thursday with Annette. I've got my new cookbook in my hands, my beautiful new More Cooking for One or Two. So I'm making a recipe out of this today and I want to excite you about salad. So what I'm going to make for you today is this one here. It's the asparagus snow pea almond salad. Now if you say to me, Annette, I don't like asparagus, that's fine. I'm going to give you alternatives. So don't worry. So this is the recipe I'm making today because I think we're going into the summer. It's now summer, officially summer. And um, I think we want to get excited about salad, don't we? Because it's so fabulous. There's nothing boring about this one and I love it. And it's got some new ingredients in it that I haven't used in any other cookbooks. So get ready for that. Now, let's talk about the winners from last week's show where I did an, the first recipe out of the new cookbook, Apricot Chicken Stir Fry. Thank you for those that posted your pictures up. I love it. It fills my little heart up when I see pictures of uh, people that have cooked recipes from my book. Now, the three lucky winners were Lena Aliotta, Heather Link and Sharon Thompson. So I wonder if you'll be a winner this week and get a Percy signed copy of the new book. All right, so let's look at the ingredients we need to make this fizzy, fabulous salad. So we start with asparagus, 200 grams. Now, if you don't like asparagus, what you can swap it for is either green beans or broccoli. See, I've always got an answer for you. But I love asparagus, so any excuse to have it is wonderful, especially in a salad. We're going to use 16 snow peas um, and uh, they're just, you could use sugar snaps if you wanted, um, but they're really lovely, I think, in a salad as well. We're going to put almonds in it and it's the, um, the uh, what do we call them? Um, flaked. There was different names for them years ago, but they're called a flake almond now and we're going to toast them. Um, actually, I might start it while I'm talking to you about the ingredients. So I'm just going to place the almonds in. Now in the recipe it tells you to um, put them on some foil under the grill. But because I like to show you different things on the show, I'm just showing you another easy way to toast your almonds. And it's really important that you toast them because you get so much more flavour when they're toasted than when they're raw. So please make sure you toast them. Alright, so that's two tablespoons or 10 grams of almond flakes. So 200 grams of asparagus, 16 snow peas, you want three tablespoons of sliced shallots. I've got some garlic here, you can use fresh if you want, we're using half a teaspoon and you've got to watch them so they don't burn. I've got some fresh mint from my garden, we're going to chop it up to two teaspoons. You need just half a teaspoon of sugar, this is going to be going in the dressing. We've got cherry tomatoes here, we just want uh, six cherry tomatoes. We've got some rocket as well, and you want a cup or 40 grams of rocket. I've got a little bit of ginger here, uh, salt reduced soy, and this is the new ingredient that I haven't used in any recipes before, and I love it. It's the Japanese style dressing from Praise. So you try that. It just really is fantastic. It's a, it's a really, uh, really, really, really lovely flavour in a salad. Now, I've got to tell you, that when I made this and I had some taste testers try this salad, the lady next day rings me and said, I can't stop thinking about this salad you made in there. Um, I just love it so much, can I get the recipe? I went, no, you've got to wait for the book. <laughs> so she was very happy. She was first off the rank to get the new book. All right, so what you're going to do first is you're going to do your asparagus. Now, always with asparagus, if you're not done much with asparagus, you always have to chop the, the end off because it's like a core and it's quite thick. So you want about four centimetres and take it off. Throw it out, it's not pleasant, you don't want it. How's my little almonds doing here? They're nearly done. And we will be cooking the asparagus and the snow peas and the shots in the pan as well. That's why I thought I'll show you using a pan because that way, you know, you're using the one thing. All right, so there's my almonds. Look at that, all toasted and fabulous. Let's put them in. The... Don't you love the pan, the way nothing sticks to it? Now I'm going to turn that off. Pick up my little bits of almonds that I've wasted here because I want them all in the salad later. So I've done that first and it will have time now to cool. 
So when we do the asparagus, we're going to just cut them in about five centimetre bits. I might start with, see, notice I put it all together because I want quick and easy. So I'm going to go there and one more. All right, so let's put that in the pan. Now it goes in with the garlic. See, so what I'm doing is I'm actually cooking and prepping at the same time because it just is so easy to make, okay? So we're gonna do half a teaspoon of garlic and then in goes the asparagus. And I really love having it just cooked because that way then it has, it's not yet raw, I'm not sure I like raw asparagus. And so we're just gonna to toss the garlic together with the beautiful asparagus. That's fantastic. Might lower that down, we don't want it too hot. Next we're gonna prep up the snow peas because I've already done the shallots because you know how to slice shallots. So that was three tablespoons. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know this is our second last show for 2021. I mean, wow. I think a lot of us will be glad to see the end of this year for sure. All right, so now with the snow peas, you're gonna take off the little stem or the stalk. I've already done some of them, so I just wanna show you. Peel it off because you don't want that. It's like beans, if you did beans, you would do the same. You would take the sides off. And also if you're using the broccoli, you would just do uh, small florets. Now you're gonna cook this for about three or four minutes. And then we're gonna put in the snow peas. Now this recipe is here in the vegetables and salad section. And it just says here, the tip says, this salad has a low glycemic load. This means it will have minimum effect on your blood glucose levels, making it ideal for people with diabetes. So that's the little dietitian tip. And I always want you to look at them because I think they're important. And they're written by um, dietitian Lisa Cochran, yes. Okay, let me look at the recipe here. Let's throw in the snow peas. Oh, I'm really throwing them, aren't I? Now, this is enough. I might even just do a little coat of cooking spray. So you know now there's 16. So when you're serving up, it's eight each. <laughs> because this is a recipe for two. That's right. And by just cooking them off a little bit, it just makes them so much more pleasant to eat, I think. But we will cool them. Now in the recipe it says, to um, just cool them and uh, you know, take them, put them in the fridge till cool. Now, um, you can just actually, if you want, leave them on the bench to cool if you want them just room temperature, up to you. But because of the rocket and everything, I don't think you want the uh, vegetables to be hot, like fresh out of the pan. So I'm gonna actually, because we're gonna be rather quick here, I'm gonna just throw it in the freezer in a minute. All right, so we've got the shallots. Now, when did the shallots go in? Let me look at my list here. Um, they go in, let me look at my recipe here. Uh, so you can tell us because, oh, it, no, it don't, we don't cook it, that's right. I'm thinking, I'm sure I don't put that in the pan. I mean, you can tell it's a new recipe for me too. I've only made it a few times because it's new. All right, our cooking is done. So now what I'm gonna do, look how beautiful they look and they've got the bits of garlic on there as well. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my Sophie sink. And I'm just gonna pass it now to my Billy. Thank you, Mr. Sim. He's gonna put that in the freezer. I'm gonna turn this off. We're done with the cooking. I know it's a salad, but we do cook. <laughs> and you know, it's just fun to have some variety with your salad, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna do the mint now. We want two teaspoons of fresh mint. All right, so I wonder how much I need. Look at this beautiful mint. Fresh out of my garden. And it just gives a little bit of extra zing to the salad by putting the mint in. There we go. Oh, it just smells fabulous. Oh my God, I'm so excited to make a recipe for you out of my new book. Now, when you think of salad, and I really wanted to make it for you because we are going into salad season, 
And I really think that, you know, sometimes you think salad, it has to be low fat and healthy for you. But the worst thing on the menu probably is Caesar salad. Um, potato salad can be very high in fat. You've really got to think about what dressing and what's gone into it. Because in a Caesar salad, for example, it has bacon, fried croutons, um, it's got egg, uh, cheese, you know, like it's, there's a lot of things going that really kick up the fat count. Of course, if you've got book one, you don't have to worry because I've done a low fat version for you. In fact, did you know I have 43 salads for you? All different and fabulous, yes. And so don't be telling me that you're bored, okay? Because that's not gonna, that's not gonna cut it, I'm sorry. No way. 43 salads. So lettuce, tomato, cucumber, a goodbye. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start prepping it up. So I've got my rocket. It's a cup. Now remember, this is for two people. So you spread that out. And I'm gonna now put two teaspoons of the mint. There we go. And I'm just going to sprinkle it over. That's it. So that's that done. Now we're just gonna cut the cherry tomatoes in half. And as I'm doing them, I'm going to place them around. So I think the cherry tomato gives it colour. Then we do the shallots. And then we're going to put the asparagus in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it all up. So there's your shallots. I mean, it's such a wonderful salad. Why wouldn't you want to make this for Christmas Day? That's for sure. All right, so let's leave that there for now because what I'm going to do is make the dressing. All right. Super easy. Japanese dressing the praise. I get it in coals, okay? Don't you love how some of them just don't have things? They only have them in coals. They used to have it in wars, but not anymore. I want three tablespoons. So remember, it's a 15 ml tablespoon. That's it. One. Two. And remember, this is for two, but how easy would it be to turn this into serves four or six, uh, which I did when I had it for my friends. I just doubled it and put it onto a beautiful platter and everyone oohed and ahed and just looked amazing. All right, so we're going to now put in here a quarter of a teaspoon of the low salt soy. It's only a quarter of a teaspoon. That's it. You're going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger, which I might use a different spoon so I don't mess up my nice ginger. And that just will give it a little kick. And then half a teaspoon of white sugar. And why that's in there is to just give it a bit of smoothness to the salad dressing and just mix it up. So basically, how easy is this recipe? Okay, let's finish this fabulous recipe off. Okay, so we're going to now sprinkle the snow peas, the asparagus, oh my gosh. I mean, who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy? Don't ever tell me that you're bored with your salad. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift it all up because I want to see those cherry tomatoes. I probably should have done them last, but I was just jumping ahead with myself. There we go. Look at that. And all we have to do now is just pour the dressing over. Oh, hello asparagus. And there we go. Perfect. Oh. And we are done. Okay, so there is my beautiful, let me just wash my hands, <laughs> my beautiful asparagus 
snow pea. Oh, hello. What have we missed? You know, I always forget these. The piece resistance is the almonds on the top. Oh, yes. I really love getting that little bit of extra crunch in the salad. It really does. I had so much fun writing this cookbook. I was a little bit sad when it was all over because I thought, what am I going to do with myself? <laughs> the team laughed at that. All right, so there it is, my gorgeous salad. Now, if you're looking to get tongs for Christmas to maybe serve this with, look what I found in Kmart. You know I do love my Kmart. And look, they've got in little set Christmas tongs. Look at that. Santa and the Christmas tree. So wouldn't that look fantastic put there with the salad for Christmas? Well, we're done. Boom! Another beautiful recipe and it's out of my new cookbook. Thank you so much for everyone with, that have ordered, you know, over the last week. We've been inundated with positivity and love. Thank you so much. Now, if you want to win the book, personally sign by moi, all you have to do is like, share and in the comment, you write, you know what you got to do. Hashtag simply too good. And I'll pick three lucky winners. Now, as I said, next week is our last show for, oh no, I didn't say it. I said this is my second last show. I'm going to tell you now, next week is the last show for 2021 and you voted on it and I'm making the festive ice cream pudding out of book one. I actually also did it in this new cookbook. And uh, let me just turn to the page because it does serve 16 and you know if you're just doing a small Christmas it's a lot of ice cream uh, a pudding so what I did where is it here it is that's the one I'll be making next week but I'll make the full one see it's a little one it serves four how good is that I love it alrighty well you guys take care of yourself um, remember this is out of the new book I hope you enjoy my recipe and you, I'll see you for the next show last week. Now, by the way, this is 4.5 grams of fat to serve. And so, um, you know, and that's mainly coming from the almonds. So it's definitely a beautiful, healthy salad to enjoy. So take care. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you want any more tips or recipes, or if you want to check out the new book, go to simplytogood.com.au. Take care. I'll see you for the last show next week. Bye now.